honestly, I've seen a lot of stuff that is just makes me laugh about Donald Trump. I know it's quite serious in America, but I absolutely frigging knew he would do that. I mean, all of us in the UK knew about this. If you're American, don't feel ashamed about being an American because believe me, I've seen a lot of amazing cool things over there. And even though I haven't really visited America, but I know that it's a cool place. So don't feel down about it because believe me, we had a lot of problems over here in the UK. I mean, trust me, I've, I know what it's like to feel like a failure uh, for our country and feeling like our country is a complete mess. But don't get me wrong, Donald Trump was get it was it was coming to Donald Trump. Those who voted against Donald Trump, I salute you, all of you. We all knew that Trump were, it was coming to Trump. It was going to happen at some point. It was going to happen. We all knew it. We all knew it was going to happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, do not feel, like, intimidated by Trump's influence. Because at some point, the US government are going to kick him out. And, to be honest, He's gonna be whining and grind. Uh, he's gonna be moaning and groaning, saying, "Oh, I've done all of this, blah, 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 trying to do all this," and then all Democrats are gonna get back into it. Do you know what's gonna happen now? A lot of people, possibly, I'm not even sure if I'm right, but people are gonna be kind of like us, who don't vote for Labour anymore because Labour actually really screwed up our um, economy, um, like years and years ago. And I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. They're not going to go for the Republicans because of that reason. They're going to keep on going for the Democrats. And if you're a Republican, that is absolutely fine. I don't, I don't have any problems against the Republicans. The only thing I do have against is Donald Trump and his ridiculous system. I can't stand Trump. I can't stand the bastard. I can't stand him. I mean, I, I speak to some people on the uh, from the other side uh, where I currently work, and I'm telling you, some people were like, "Oh, he's just he just says all these not these these great things and all that." But I like I look at the internet and I think these people are really badly brainwashed. He's manipulative. I'm not going to be a, a fool and just look at it and then think, actually, what's the point? What's the fucking point? He's made a nasty... He's made the worst mistake of his life. I bet you, by in the next few days, he'll be out of office. They'll be kicking his sorry ass out of office. You watch in the next couple of days. You watch... Because a lot of people out there are already demanding it. And I don't actually fucking blame them. Honest to God, I do not blame them. Fair play to the, those who have been supportive to what's right. Because those who stormed the Capitol on Friday should be fucking ashamed of themselves. They think they rule the country by doing that. You can go up to life in prison. You haven't thought this through, haven't you? You have not thought this through. So, those who think you, they know everything and they think, oh, we can, we can do all this to, just so we can make the Senate listen to us. It fucking won't work. We have a democracy. We don't do things like that. If you want to become uh, South, uh, sorry, North Korea, you're going up that way. And we know what North Korea is like. All of us. So think that through. Think it through very well. Because someday we might not get that anymore. And it's hard to think that. Do not 
And I'm, I'm saying this to every American out there. Do not fucking do that. It is disgusting. And I can't even believe I'm saying this. But you Americans... People who, who, who follow Trump are idiots. Who are retarded enough to think that. Those who are not um, Trump supporters. Or things that, you know, don't think to storm the castle. Which is storming the place. Good on you. Don't do that. You're not stupid enough to think that. Don't listen to people doing that. Make your own decisions. I've had a tough 2020, and I'm sure everybody did, but believe me, this lockdown's going to be tougher for all of us, and I bet Biden's already thinking about having a national lockdown, just so we can control the outbreak. It's going to be a lot harder for all of us, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it up. Support who you feel is right for you, but not for Trump. Kick that sorry asshole out of office. Good on you, Senates of America. You're making the right fucking decision. And Twitter. And tw Facebook. You're making a very good decision. I'll speak to you guys in the, in the next video soon. Peace.